In this video, we're going to talk about three different ways to use memos by linking them to three different data points in Deduce. So first off, let's talk about linking memos to excerpts. So this is a really powerful use of memos in Deduce where you can log your thoughts while actively analyzing your data. So for this example, I'm just using a text document here. Let's say I'm interested in coding this excerpt. So I apply some codes but I also want to log a memo. So you'll notice in your red selection info box, which means you're actively editing this excerpt, you'll see a tiny little post-it note icon. Once you click that, it will bring up your memo window where you can title it. So I'm just gonna title it test here, and then you can log your brilliant thoughts. Another thing to consider when you're creating memos and linking them to excerpts is the use of memo groups. So here you can choose where you want to categorize this memo. So when you go to your memos workspace, you can quickly filter or pull up memos by these different groups. So here we have five different groups that I created earlier today. Let's say this is a code development memo. So it's questioning this code application, or maybe I'm suggesting a new code. I can categorize it in that code development memo group and then select Save. So that's one way to link a memo to an excerpt. You can also use a shortcut key. So if you highlight some text and then just click M on your keyboard, that will also bring up the memo window for you. Now, another use of memos is to create and link a memo as it is attached to a code. So for instance, if you were to hover over this flavor thoughts code, you're going to see that similar post-it note icon. Go ahead and click that. And this allows you to attach a memo to a code. Now make sure that you're not logging your code definitions in here. Instead, log your code definitions within the code itself under the edit code icon. But this is a good place to log perhaps any changes you made to the code over time perhaps thoughts about the code or its utility or maybe changes that you want to discuss with your team. So I'm going to put this as a code development memo. Click Save. Another good use of memos is attaching them to your media themselves. So if you go to your media workspace, you're going to see a column for memos here. If you do not see this column, just make sure that it's checked in your columns panel. So let's say I wanted to attach a memo to this document. I could go to that document's row, hit on that zero under memos, and that will bring up that memo window. Now attaching memos to documents and at the document level can be really helpful if you want to provide perhaps a reflection on that piece of data or maybe a summary of that piece of data. So I'm going to categorize this as a reflexive memo. And just provide my overall thoughts on this document as a whole, or perhaps a summary of the document and click save. Now, all of these memos will be logged in your memos workspace. Remember that you can switch the view to the grid view by using that button on the top right. And you can also filter by your different memo groups, or you can search throughout all of your memos. Be sure to check out the other videos about how to use memos and create memo groups.